Good morning, friends. This is Pastor Joe Palikatayel. Today is Monday, May the 19th, 2014. I bring you greetings. Greetings of the Lord Jesus Christ. Greetings of his amazing love. Sisters and brothers, let us receive that greetings and be excited about giving that greetings to everyone throughout this day. Let me invite you to continue our meditation on the Gospel according to Matthew chapter 22. Today, let us focus in on verse 18 to 23. The, the context is the Pharisees and the Sadducees and their disciples trying to trap Jesus in a question. Is it lawful to pay tax to Caesar? And Jesus said, why are you trying to trap me? Show me a coin by which you pay tax. So they showed him a denarius. And he said, whose portrait is that on the coin? And they said, Caesar's. And he said to them, give it to Caesar what is due to Caesar and give it to God what is due to God. They were amazed by such a reply. What a powerful teaching. Yes, we owe taxes to the government. But more than that, we, more than that, we owe to God. God is the one who created us in his image. Jesus Christ died on the cross for our salvation. We owe him much more than we can ever imagine. Every day is a gift from the Lord. He keeps us alive so that he may accomplish his purpose through us. Sisters and brothers, throughout this day, let us praise God for the gift of life. Not only individual life, gift of our family, gift of all the people do all sorts of blessings, give all sorts of blessings to us. We are in the family of God. Let us rejoice in that. Let us praise God for that. And throughout this day, we pay tax. When we buy certain things, we pay tax. Or when we, in, we pay income tax, state tax, all sorts of taxes. taxes. But sisters and brothers, God's grace is the one that enables us to pay taxes. Therefore, let us rejoice. Let us praise God for everything that he has done and that he continues to do. Let us cultivate an attitude of gratitude towards God. And thereby, we would express our gratitude towards the people around us, towards the governments, and towards all sorts of protection and grace that God gives us through so many people. Will you join me in this prayer? Let us pray. Thank you, Lord, for creating us in your image. Thank you, Lord, for blessing us to grow up in our specific families and develop our own families. Thank you, Lord, for the nation in which you, you bless us to live. Oh, Lord, enable us to praise you, glorify you for everything. Jesus, without you, we can do nothing. Please live within us. Give us the joy of developing an attitude of gratitude to you, and to all the people around us for all the blessings we receive. Oh, Holy Spirit, continue to give us the delight of your presence, your wisdom and grace. Help us to follow your wisdom and grace. We ask this blessing, Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen.